세 단어 표현 확장 일곱 번째 앞에서 배워 알고 있는 세 단어 표현 100개의 영어 설명과 비슷한 표현 3개 추가로 총 300개 표현 이제 한국말의 편안함에서 벗어나 영어로만 해요. 불편하셔도 자꾸 들어 나도 모르게 익숙해질 때까지 11. Keep your edge This means staying sharp, competitive and ahead of the game If you're in school, sports or even at work It's important to keep your edge by always learning and improving. It's about not becoming lazy or complacent. You can also say stay ahead, stay sharp, or be on top. It's great advice for anyone who wants to succeed. 12. Write it down. Here's one you'll hear often, write it down. It simply means to record information, usually on paper or on your phone. If you're in a meeting and there's important information, someone might remind you to write it down. So you don't forget it later. You could also say, take notes, jot it down, or make a list. It's a great habit to help you remember important things. 13. Mind your manners. This one is really common. Mind your manners. It's something parents or teachers often say to remind people to be polite and respectful. If you're at a fancy dinner, for example, you should mind your manners by saying please and thank you and being respectful of others. It's a way to make sure you're behaving properly. You can also say, be polite, show respect, or act properly. 14. Lock the gate. Another practical phrase, lock the gate. This is something you do to secure a place, like a garden or yard. If you're leaving and need to keep everything safe, you'll lock the gate to make sure no one can get in. Similar phrases would be lock the door, close the gate, or secure the entrance. 15. Pick up signals. Let's talk about pick up signals. This means to notice and understand small hints or clues. Sometimes, people don't say things directly, but they give hints with their actions or tone of voice. For example, if someone seems upset but doesn't say it out loud, you might pick up signals that they're unhappy. It's about being aware of subtle clues. You can also say catch the hints, read the signs, or detect the clues. 16. Divar the story. Next up is Div are the story. This means to read something quickly and with a lot of enthusiasm. Like you can't get enough of it. If you're really into a book, you might say, I devoured that story in just one day. It's like you're so hungry for the information or entertainment that you just eat it up. You could also say binge read, speed through, or eat up the book. 17. Share the news. Share the news is a simple phrase, meaning to tell someone important information. Maybe you've just found out something exciting. Like you got a new job or you're getting married. You probably want to share the news with your friends and family. You could also say spread the word. Tell everyone or pass on the news. 18. Hold my hand. Now we have hold my hand. This one is both literal and figurative. Literally, it means someone physically holding your hand. Like for comfort or guidance. but it can also mean offering support in a difficult situation. For example, if you're nervous about giving a speech, you might ask a friend, hold my hand through this, meaning you want emotional support. Similar phrases include, stand by me, support me, or be there for me. 19. Find your way. Find your way means to navigate or figure out the direction, either physically or in life. If you're lost in a city, someone might say, don't worry, you'll find your way. It can also mean finding your path in life, like discovering what you want to do. Other ways to say this include, get on track, figure it out, or discover your path. 20. Stick with it. This is a great motivational phrase, stick with it. It means to keep going. Even when something is hard, imagine you're learning English, and it's tough at first. You might tell yourself, stick with it, and it'll get easier. Similar expressions are keep at it, Don't give up or hang in there.